And related to that, a section of sitting and former members of parliament allied to Deputy President Rigade Gashagwa could be charged with criminal offences related to the June anti-government protests. The Deputy President, however, says there's a plot to use the criminal justice system to push for his impeachment. Seth Olale has more. A letter to the Director of Public Prosecutions, Renson Igonga, from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, dated 24th September 2024, has recommended charges against sitting and former MPs over their alleged involvement in the June 25th anti-government protests. According to the letter, there are at least three probable charges against Embakasi Central MP Benjamin Gaviru, a liar's major donk. They include soliciting or inciting others to commit an offense, conspiracy to commit a felony, and money laundering. The probable charge against Embakasi North MP James Gakuya, former Embakasi West MP George Theory, former Neri Town MP Wambugu Ngunjiri, is that of conspiracy to commit a felony. According to DCI investigations, intelligence reports allegedly implicated Benjamin Gabiru Mwangi and James Gakuya for allegedly planning, mobilizing and financing violent protests that were witnessed in the country on 25th June and subsequent days following several alleged meetings that took place at a Nairobi hotel. <laughs> but in a quick rejoinder, DP Gashagwa, in a statement on social media platforms, alleged that the criminal justice system is being used to associate them with violent demonstrations that took place in late June in a futile attempt to soil his name and hopefully create grounds for impeachment proceedings against him. The DP adding that, Use of the criminal justice system to manage politics is an outdated political strategy and that was used in the past and that the harassment of his office staff and members of parliament perceived to be close to him has been going on for the last two months. <laughs> Seth Olale, Citizen TV.